Welcome to eStorm's Guide to Getting More Out of Outlook. Here are four tips that we've put together that you might find useful. Tip number one is inserting calendars. Inserting your calendar into an email is especially helpful when you're trying to line up schedules or meetings or even creating events. When you have a new or reply email open, click insert and then click calendar. Now this is where Outlook gives you a number of options. You can select date range and we could either do tomorrow, the next week, or we could set our own custom date range. So for example, I wanna schedule a meeting in the next week, so I'll choose next seven days. Now in detail, you can control how much they see of your calendar. So you can choose to only show your availability, specific details, or all the details on your calendar. We'll choose availability and click OK. Now my available times have been inserted into the email and if we scroll down, we can see a more detailed look and breakdown of when we're available. Creating calendar events with emails. If you receive an email, maybe for an event or a meeting, you can set the event with the email. To do this, just click and hold the email. Now drag it down to your calendar. Now you can add a name as well as any specific times or locations. And we just hit save and close. Now, if we go into our calendar, we can see that our event has been created using our email. Delayed delivery. This feature allows you to write a single email to send later or batch a whole bunch of emails at one time. So click new email or reply if you're replying to an email. We'll fill out our email as normal, but before sending, we'll click options. Now select delay delivery. Under the delivery options, you wanna make sure that you have do not deliver before checked. Now you can set the date and time when you'd like it to be sent. So let's say Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. Now we click close and click send as normal. Now that email will sit in our outbox until it automatically sends on the time and date that we've specified. Setting a different email address for replies. You might be sending out an email and a one email address, but you need the responses to go to a different person or email. Outlook makes this really simple. In your new email or your reply email, select options. Now click direct replies to. Under delivery options, you can specify which email address the reply emails come to. Once you change the have replies sent to email address, just click close and click send as normal. Now, if we open that email and click reply, you'll notice that the reply to email was changed to the one we specified. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more tips and tricks, uh, particularly around the Office 365 software, let me know which program you'd like to see more tech tips on and we'll get them out to you. See you in the next video.